Hi, and welcome to the Secret Consulting Riches video series. In this video series, I'm going to show you how you can create your own consulting business. Now, the big question is, what is consulting? Consulting co covers a very, very broad and general niche. So you could be consulting businesses. You could consult individuals, whether, let's say, for example, that you're good at skiing. You could find people who want to learn skiing. You, you can find people that want to learn a specific niche, maybe scrapbooking, you know, craft making, you know, things like that. But you can also do businesses as well. In fact, consulting local businesses is pretty much where the money is at. So if you want to make, you know, a couple thousand dollars or more, then definitely go after consulting businesses. Now, you definitely want to do the proper research before you actually create your consulting service, but you also want to make sure that you enjoy what you're doing. So I'm going to cover both in this video series. I'm going to show you how you can find and create consulting services that are profitable and that you actually enjoy. Now, the big question that you need to ask yourself is, are you going to be consulting online businesses or offline businesses. Now you can do both if you want, but it's better if you can focus on, you know, specifics. Online businesses pretty much cover worldwide and offline businesses cover the local businesses, businesses that are close by to you. Now I say businesses, but like I said, this video series is targeted and focused towards businesses because that's where the money is at. But if you want to consult not to businesses but to individuals, you can do that as well. But I just wanted to make that clear. So why do you want to do consulting? Well, consulting is probably the fastest way you can make a big amount, a big chunk of amount of money quick. And it's great because you have a low amount of money that you have to invest. Because it's pretty much either service-based or you're already good at it, so you're advising people on how to improve and how to fulfill their problems or needs. Consulting is all about helping others, helping businesses and things like that. So, you know, if you create a business, your whole goal is to help others. So with consulting, guess what? You get to do that all the time. You get to be paid by being on the phone with people, coaching them, consulting them, you know, helping them improve their business or improve individual needs, whatever that might be. Another question that you need to ask yourself is, are you going to go after one niche or are you going to go after a broad niche? Now, let me give you some examples. If you're going after one niche, let's say, for example, that you're going to be a consultant. And let's say, for example, that I'm a marketing consultant. So I can pretty much consult any type of business out there because I understand, you know, online marketing or offline marketing. So I can consult different businesses. Now, niche examples would be, let's say, for example, that I want to focus on realtors. Now, I've been dealing with realtors lately and I found that realtors, they make a lot of money just by selling one house. They often get like 6%. So, if they were to sell, let's say, for example, a $100,000 house, well, 6% of that, the listing agent and the realtor, or your realtor, they split that normally. So they get about 6% per house. Give and take, you know, they spend anywhere from a couple days or so per person or, or a week per person. And they find that house and they make that money. So we're talking about they're making a couple thousand dollars each and every sale. And really depending on how big the house is as well. So if you're a marketing consultant, you can focus specifically towards realtors. And let's say, you know, realtors are making good money. You know, you're making a couple thousand dollars consulting them. You, you go into that market of realtors. You can go deeper you can go into, let's say, foreclosure realtors, specific types of realtors to get in specifics. Now, the good side about that is you're, 
you're specifically focused, so you may not have as much competition. But the problem is that you may not have as many clients. But you don't need a lot of clients to get good money, and that's what makes this business model great. Another example you could be chiropractor marketing consultants. You know, chiropractors charge not a lot of money, but they charge a good amount of money per visit. So you could go after chiropractors as a marketing consultant. You could do salon marketing, so focus specifically on salons. Of course, there's not a ton of money, but if you go after specific salons that cater to people that you know get a haircut, they get shampoo, they get everything, you know, they, especially women, you know, they get all these different hair dyeing things like that. The money can add up and on a consistent basis. So salons do make good money with specific clients. So if you can specifically focus towards salons that you know are making good money or towards businesses that are making good money then you can actually go after that niche now extreme niche examples you could be like let's say for example a marketing consultant but you're not doing everything you're doing specifically pay-per-click and what I found with local businesses a lot of local businesses have done their research so a lot of times they've approached me and said, hey, I need a pay-per-click campaign. I've heard a lot of great things about Google AdWords and that I can get people you know, targeted locally for my business. So you could do extreme niche examples like this, realtors, and or provide specific traffic methods to these businesses. Broad examples are just like marketing consultants marketing consultant, wrestling consultant, or wrestling coach, you know, different types of consultants, but they're a little broader. So with this, you can actually, if you're starting out, that's probably the best way to start out as a marketing consultant. You could say you're a marketing consultant. As your clientele grows and you find out that you're making more money from realtors or chiropractors or specific businesses, then you can brand yourself as a realtor marketing consultant. So the key really is to create your business, you know, figure out, either figure out originally or do some tests and figure out which one is more profitable. Or a website consultant, copywriting consultant, and so forth. And you can even consult marketing consultants if you want. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I've done a lot of consultations with business coaches. So think about it. I'm the marketing consultant and I consult other marketing consultants, which then go out to consult business coaches. Business coaches then go out and consult businesses. So with these types, actually, you can make pretty good money with this because business coaches, you know, make good money or marketing consultants that consult business coaches. I know this is a, a lot of stuff, but basically if you're consulting business coaches, it's actually a lot easier to do, I found over the years, because they already have a good amount of knowledge, but you're just giving them specific, tightly focused knowledge to help them help their clients, which are businesses, improve. Now, let me give you a quick overview of this whole video series as a whole so that you understand what I'm going to talk about in this video series so you can expect it and it'll all come together in a faster manner. So video number one, of course, is this video. Video number two, I'm going to show you how you can determine your skill set and what you're good at. There's specific methods that I use that I've found over the years help me find you know what I'm good at you know what I enjoy and what kind of consulting I can do and I've I've used this to help other people find what they're good at as well so I'm sure you'll enjoy that video video number three we're gonna talk about researching your market and your competition so once you have figured out okay what you're good at and what your skill set are then you can research that specific market 
and research your competition. So you're figuring out, okay, is this really profitable or not? And how much competition is there? Now, if there is competition, that's great. If there's too much competition, then you might want to move to the local business arena because there's not as much competition in that area. And then video number four, we're going to do some brainstorming, figuring out your services. So, of course, in video number two, I'm not really going to dive too much into you figuring out your services. That's what we're going to do in video number four, figuring out what you're good at and what you can provide other people in terms of consulting services. Video number five, we're going to talk about creating an outline, creating your services. So once you figure figured out what your services are going to be about, video five, we're going to take that and create an outline and create your services. So we're going to talk about your services, you know, how much you're going to charge, you know, things like that. Video number six, we're going to talk about creating and setting up your websites, basically setting up your landing pages, your autoresponders, and things like that to get you set up so that you can begin to capture leads. Video number seven, we're also going to talk about pre-launching phase. Why it's important to build curiosity. So after you've done all everything, you've set up your services, you've you've created your list, you've created your landing pages, and so forth. You still need to do some pre-launching or marketing to build up curiosity. So one thing you could do is you could do webinars and things like that. But we won't dive too much into that right now. Video number eight, the last video, we're going to talk about marketing. This is vital. Once you've set up your system, you need to market. And I'm not going to leave you in the dark. I'm going to show you how to find out where your clients are hiding. Basically, where are your clients? Where are these clients that want to pay you five hundred thousand, two thousand bucks just to get you to consult them? Now, let me talk about the tools that you're going to need. Fortunately for you, you don't need a lot of money. You do need some web hosting and you do need a domain name so that you can set up your website. Webinar service is optional, and you need to record video, whether that's live video or Camtasia. Camtasia is pretty much what I'm using right now. It gives you the ability to record screen capture or PowerPoint, and you can do live video too if you have some sort of recording device. And then you need some money, but you don't need a whole lot of money. You need some keyword research tools. I'm going to stick with free keyword research tools as much as possible. Keep your your costs low. You're also going to need an autoresponder. When we set up the lead capture pages and things like that, you're going to need an autoresponder. Now, I recommend that you use something like AWeber or GetResponse, but you can pretty much use any autoresponder service that you want. Now, let's talk about how it works. This is pretty much how it works. Now, in the quick overview, I gave you a brief overview, but this is how it works step by step. So you, your consulting business, you determine your skill set, you research your market and your competition. Then you brainstorm your services, you outline your services, basically creating a detailed plan or business plan. You set up lead capture pages, do some pre-launch and do some marketing. Now, there's a lot more that's involved in this, but of course each step has its own. And I'll go into a little more detail in each step. So with that said, let's move on to video number two.